Hello everyone and welcome to a performance test of RSS Reborn, a visual mod for a real solar system that's particularly intense and I've done videos on it before, but now I have a new video card. I have an RTX 4070, regular, not TI or Super or anything like that, and I previously had an RTX 2070. So I'm seeing what the improvement is. I did the previous videos, you can watch them, but I'll uh, briefly tell you that. It was alright early on here, but then once we got to space, it really grinded a bit and was a bit choppy and I'm not concerned about the frame rate particularly not the actual number I'm just concerned that it looks good enough right and previously we had not just low frame rate but also the physics rate was choppy and I'm using the same shuttle that I did before which is why the separatrons are still messed up because I haven't changed the graph file at all uh, I still need to fix the separatrons it's a running gag I guess now but here we're uh, getting into space and it's no choppier than it was earlier. Now with the RTX 2070, it did get choppier up here uh, progressively. And here uh, we, we don't have any of the UI to give us an indication, but you can see it's looking okay. It's serviceable as a video, let me put it that way. That's, that was my goal. And getting the RTX 4070 was partly motivated by by RSS Reborn itself. The links for the mod will be in the video description. RSS Reborn is built by Ballistic Fox and it's basically four volumetric clouds by Blackrack, but you can run it without the volumetric clouds. I've done that. I have a different install. And in this particular install, I'm using the best earth textures, 64K, but not the best textures for the other plants because otherwise I can't run it. I, even as it is like this, it takes 64 gigabytes of my regular RAM. And now the RTX 4070 has 12 gigabytes of VRAM and it seems to take a, most, if not all of that. And I think having the extra VRAM did help it compared to the RTX 2070. Uh, that might be contributing to its smoothness uh, in comparison to my previous tests. And here we go, separating from the external tank. So now it's okay. Now, on my first test with RSS Reborn, it was really horribly choppy. But then some improvements were made. Uh, Ballistic Fox made some performance improvements that made it sort of workable for me in the second test. And now there's the third test. I've got the new video card and now it seems like I can fully use it. The question is whether the volumetric clouds are the look that I want for stuff. Maybe for shuttle videos, which I intend to do, and I'll be looking at the uh, more advanced uh, shuttle mod that was from Giulio Dondi, and maybe uh, also the KOS stuff that Mr. Dondi did, and trying to test that out and implementing that for shuttle videos, we will see. But those are the forward-looking plans as we take a look at this. Now this testing was done during a live stream and unfortunately I had connectivity issues and so the next bit of this video is the recording by Twitch, not my own recording. I forgot to press record. So uh, yeah, uh, it'll be lower quality but I did take a look at the interior to see how things were looking from there. And uh, you know, you can see how the volumetric clouds look and at least one viewer suggested that maybe uh, they're not the thing for them. Maybe the 2D clouds look better from space. Here we can see the map view, which sometimes is slower than the flight view, depending on how things work. But the map view was fine with the new graphics card. It didn't seem particularly slow. I tried various settings with the remarched clouds. Uh, if you lower the temporal upscaling number, it increases the quality. Uh, initially, I forgot to press apply when doing that, but uh, there I go pressing apply. This is the 4x version that is loading and so that's a higher quality version and then if you increase that number it'll give you sort of a lower quality thing and so here I am increasing it to 32 just to provide a dramatic comparison. So if you're trying to run RSS Reborn with a graphics card like the one I used to have uh, then you might want to increase that number so that it doesn't tax it so much and if we see what 1x does, so the, the best quality, instead of having a green timer up in the corner, now I have a green slash yellow one. So it's uh, not bad, but it's still taking more effort than it did before because with the other numbers, it was all green. So there you have it. This is just a very quick video of a performance test, the difference between the RTX 2070 and RTX 4070 given RSS Reborn. Um, basically improve performance by 
a factor of two, I would say, something along those lines. I am not sponsored by NVIDIA. They're doing just fine on their own as far as I could tell. Uh, and yeah, but it's still possible to use our sister born with the RTX 2070 or some graphics card in the middle, but it certainly seems smoother with the RTX 4070. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.